Hello everybody, today we're going to be reading Ferdinand, the story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. Este día vamos a estar leyendo la historia de Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. The story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, hace mucho tiempo en España, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. Había un torito y se el nombre era Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. Todos los otros toritos con los que él vivía les gustaba correr, brincar y darse de topes el uno con el otro. But not Ferdinand. Pero no a Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. A Ferdinand le gustaba sentarse solito y simple y sencillamente oler las flores. Can you guys smell the flowers with me? ¿Le gustaría oler las flores conmigo? Todos vamos a oler las flores. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. Él tenía su lugar favorito ahí en el pasto abajo de un arbusto. It was his favorite tree and he would sit there in the shade all day and smell the flowers. Él tenía su lugar favorito y se sentaba abajo del árbol todo el día y olía las flores. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. En ocasiones, su madre, que era una vaca, se preocupaba por él. Se preocupaba de que estuviera muy solo, de que se sintiera solo. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. ¿Por qué no corres con los otros toritos y, y brincas y te das de topes con ellos, le decía ella. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. Pero Ferdinand le decía, yo prefiero quedarme aquí solito y simple y sencillamente... Oler las flores. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was as understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. Y aunque su mamá estaba un poco preocupada, pero ella era una mamá muy comprensible, aunque fuera una vaca, y ella lo dejó que se quedara ahí solito oliendo las flores, porque eso era lo que le hacía feliz. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. Mientras los años pasaron, los días pasaron, Ferdinand creció, creció, creció hasta que era un toro muy grande y fuerte. Can you believe that's Ferdinand? Yes, yeah, he, he's so big and strong. Look, that was one week, three months, one year. And now that he's two years old, Ferdinand is big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other. All day, they would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Lo que ellos querían más que nada era que los escogieran para ir a las peleas de toro en Madrid. And look, they're all hurt. Están todos lastimados. ¿Por qué creen que están todos lastimados? That's right. They're all hurt because they, they keep on butting in themselves and poking each other, right? But not Ferdinand. He, st he still liked to just sit quiet under the court tree and smell the flowers. 
Pero Ferdinand todavía le gustaba sentarse abajo del árbol y oler las flores. One day, five men came. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Un día vinieron unos hombres con gorros muy curiosos para escoger al toro más grande, más fuerte, más mejor que todos para que así pudieran pelear en las corridas de toros en Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting and limping and jumping. So the men would think that they were the very, very strong and fierce and picked them. Todos los toros corrieron, brincaron y se peleaban el uno con el otro para que los hombres los escogieran a ellos. What about Ferdinand? Do you think Ferdinand wants to be chosen? ¿Qué de Ferdinand? ¿Usted cree que Ferdinand quiere que la escojan para ir a las peleas de toros en Madrid? Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. Pero Ferdinand sabía que no lo escogerían a él, y a él no le importaba, y por eso dijo, yo mejor me voy a ir a sentar donde siempre me siento. Oh, no. You are not gonna like, I don't think I should read you the book anymore. Oh no. Oh my goodness, you guys aren't gonna believe what happened to poor Ferdinand. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on a nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a, el Ferdinand no estaba poniendo atención en donde se sentaba y en vez de sentarse en un lugar con zacate o pasto, él se sentó arriba. He sat on top of a bumblebee. Se sentó arriba de una avispa. What do you think the bumblebee is going to do to Ferdinand? ¿Qué creen que la, que la avispa le va a hacer a Ferdinand? That's right. Look at his face. What do you think happened to him? Mire su cara. ¿Qué creen que le pasó? Well, if you were a bumblebee... And a bull sat on you. What would you do? Si tú fueras una avispa y un toro se sentara arriba de ti, ¿qué fuera lo que hicieras tú? That's right. You would sting him. And that is just what the bee did to Ferdinand. Y eso es exactamente lo que la avispa le hizo a Ferdinand. Whoa, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up and with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, bunting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. Ferdinand brincó tan alto y empezó a correr y a pegarle al piso y a hacer ruidos como si estuviera loco. What do you think the five men are going to think of him? ¿Qué cree que va a pensar los cinco hombres de él? That's right. They're going to think he's the meanest and toughest of, of, all, the, of all the bulls, right? Um, the five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bull fights in Madrid. Los cinco, los hombres estaban emocionados porque habían encontrado al mejor toro perfecto para las corridas de toros en Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. So se lo llevaron en un carruaje, listos para ir a la corrida de toros. Look at Ferdinand. Miremos a Ferdinand. How do you think he's feeling? ¿Cómo cree que se siente? Do you think he's happy? Do you think he's excited? Yeah, I don't think so either. Yo no creo que está contento, ni que está emocionado. What a day it was. Flags were flying Bands were playing. ¿Qué día aquel? La banda sonaba. Las banderas volaban. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Y todas las damas hermosas tenían flores en sus cabellos. Like, do you see the women with their beautiful hair and their flowers? They had a parade into the bull ring. Tuvieron 
un desfile hacia la entrada. First came the bandilleros with their long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Primero venían los bandilleros con unos, con, con, con unos picos muy filosos que se lo iban a ensartar al toro para hacerlo enojar. Oh, I don't feel good about this. No me está gustando esto. Next came the picadores, who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him matter. Después venían los picadores que, que usaban unos, unos palos altos y también le picaban al, 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 al toro para hacerlo enojar mucho más. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was the very handsome and bow to the ladies. Después venía el matador, que era el que se creía más que todos. Él creía que estaba muy guapo y se inclinaba ante todas las mujeres. He had the red cape and a sword, and he was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Look, what are they throwing at him? ¿Qué es lo que le están aventando? That's right. They're throwing flowers at him, right? What does Ferdinand love? That's right. He loves flowers. Oh, look at poor Ferdinand. Do you see him right there? How does he look? That's right. He looks scared, right? Yeah, maybe he looks shy. That could be another thing. Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Y ahí venía el toro. Y todos sabemos quién era ese toro. They called him Ferdinand. Le llamaban Ferdinand. The fierce and the bandilleros were afraid of him. And the picadores were afraid of him. And the matador was scared stiff. Pero todos le tenían miedos. Los bandilleros, los picadores. Y el matador estaba asustado. Do they need to be afraid of Ferdinand? No, huh? Ferdinand is just a friendly bull. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring. That was covering him with my thumb, sorry. There he is. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Y todos tenían miedo porque pensaban que él iba a cornar a alguien. But you know what he did? Pero sabe lo que hizo en vez de eso? Not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, He saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smiled. Pero no, Ferdinand. Él, cuando vio a todas las mujeres con sus cabellos llenos de flores, decidió sentarse en medio de la arena, y lo único que hizo es que suspiró. He would fight. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. Él no pelearía ni sería malo, no importa lo que hicieran. He just sat and smiled. No más se sentó y, 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 y suspiraba. And the bandilleros were mad. And the picadores were madder. And the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and the sword. Y todos estaban tan enojados y el matador estaba tan enojado que mejor se puso a llorar porque no... Podría demostrar a todos. So you know what they did? So they had to take Ferdinand home. So se tuvieron que llevar a Ferdinand home. ¿Cómo se siente ahora Ferdinand? Contenta. Se siente contento. Contento, perdón. And, uh, and for all I know, he is sitting there still. Under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly, he is very happy. Y no sé, quizás hasta este día, él sigue ahí abajo de su árbol favorito, oliendo las flores. The 
en. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. So, again, remember, grab your journals, agarre su libro de escritura, ponga la línea, put the line. On the top, you do the drawing. On the bottom, you draw the sentence. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys again tomorrow.